Hello everyone watching on YouTube, my name is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I'm finally playing it, my favorite Pokemon game, I'm so pumped. I'm streaming it on Twitch, I stream it every Saturday, link to my Twitch channel in the description if you want to try and catch them live. Uh, so I have many amazing people here in chat with me, who will be uh, talking with me and whatnot as we play through the game. It's going to be a lot of fun. I deleted the save that I had on this, which was like a completely defeated game where I had recruited a lot of legendaries, so... Yeah, but anyways, I'm playing this on my actual DS. I'm not using an emulator, so no fancy hacks or anything available. But I'm just going to hit new game, and we're going to get into it. What gen is the game up to? Uh, This is gen 4. Yeah, Explorers of Sky is up to gen 4, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go. Jonathan, how's it going? Glad to see you. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Please give me a good starter. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? Yes, I did. Normally, when I answer this quiz, like, uh, legitimately, I normally get, uh, Riolu. So. Yeah. Friend offers you to dinner. Normally, I try and pay for people that I'm with a lot of the time. Allow me. You're in a completely silent assembly when you suddenly hear someone pass gas. How do you react? Who? No one actually rolls on the floor laughing. That doesn't actually happen in real life. No one does that. Yeah, just let it go by. What do I care? Your friend has made a meal that tastes terrible. They ask, how is it? You say? It's terrible. Have you ever looked at your reflection in a mirror and thought, what a cool person? <laughs> Absolutely. Normally, sarcastically, but still. You're about to buy a popular game when someone else gets the last copy. How do you feel? Where am I buying this game that they've run out of copies and I haven't pre-ordered it? What is that about? I shed a few tears. I'm gonna be annoyed! You've won a big raffle on a ticket. You say, this is my little... How are you gonna hide that? There's no way. I mean, like, either of these two. You find something at a great bargain price, what do you do? I'd probably, like, buy it? You're at a movie theater, what are you there to see? I mean, I'll watch about any movie that isn't a horror movie, but I guess action movie is my go-to. I'm a male? Oh, here we go, gotta analyze that aura. Press your fingertip gently on the bow, don't tell me what to do. Stay perfectly still, take a break, deep breath, exhale, etc. Or has been identified, lift your finger. I already did before you even said that. I don't think this is the one I normally get. A vivid pink. Oh no! What are you gonna make me? Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the jolly type. Oh no. You have a good sense of humor and you're compassionate. You're always making others around you laugh. I don't think this is Riolu. What did I get? You have a sunny positive outlook and you have a vitality that raises the lowest of spirits to giddy heights. For all your great cheer, you're also open to tears. This doesn't sound like me at all. But you bounce between laughter and tears so easily. What an adventure life must be like for you. Why can't I read? Bouncing around like that all day. So I'll try the type like you. No, oh, I got Totodile. That's my second favorite starter of all time. Yo, Slara, what do you mean that's a perfect description description of me? Also, welcome to the stream, man. How's it going? Yo, I'll totally take a Totodile. That is great. That is my second favorite starter right after Turtwing. I love it. Is a joke. You don't tell jokes, I tell jokes. <laughs> I've missed so much in chat. There are so many of you so early in the stream, I'm not used to this. I'm sorry I was answering all the questions. Riolu is solid, Lucario is broken. Yeah, I was expecting Riolu, but Totodile is good too. Say yes to playing the other games, it makes it more likely you get a new Pokemon in Sky. Yeah, I think it does, but I always answer yes because I don't lie. Ever. <laughs> uh, John John the Dawn 27 welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it to one. I'm just really quickly going through all the chat stuff I've missed. I'll continue playing the game in just a second. Sorry. Pokemon Roulette. Totally. Is there anyone else who showed up that I missed? Video Lover. Finally able to catch a stream. Welcome to the stream, dude. Glad to have you here. Also, speaking of Video Lover, you just followed. I've spoken into existence. Thanks for following. How come Chaos gets the best starter? Totodile is great. Totodile is my favorite water starter, too. Turtwig is my favorite starter, Totodile is my second favorite. And then Trico is my third. Alright, now who do we want as a partner? I am a water type. 
So it would be good to have either Famphy for a ground type to take electric type attacks, or uh, to have a grass type to take uh, electric type moves and other grass type moves. Or maybe take a, uh, take a fire type to beat grass types. Pick Turtwig, that's who my starter is. Turtwig is my favorite starter, so he would be a good addition. I'm not picking Munchlax. I can't even say it. Munchlax, oh my word. What is wrong with me? Eevee and name it Disappoint. Ah, I see you've been watching my Let's Go series. Chimchar Turtwig, I can agree with these. Eevee is cool, but I don't think I want Eevee because it's not really going to help me deal with the types that I'm going to have trouble with. Obvious Munchlax. Eevee is horrible as a partner? Yeah, probably. I don't think I've ever had Eevee as a partner. I can't remember. Oh, I could just pick Riolu. That's right. Do you want to deal with Runaway? Oh, it has Runaway? Absolutely not. You're right. I totally forgot about that. All right, I think I'm seeing a lot of Turtwigs. I think we're going to go Turtwig. So I've got literally my first and second favorite starters. So that's what we're going to go for. Boom. Uh, I'm just going to leave his name Leave his name as Turtwig. That's it. You're all ready to go. Yeah, I am. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Partners do not evolve in, uh, you and your partner do not evolve in Mystery Dungeon until the post-game. Yeah, Runaway is terrible in this game. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Eevee is a cool Pokemon, but I don't like it as much when it can't evolve. Also, Chapter 1, A Storm at Sea, let's go. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you okay? No! Don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. Turtwig is the best starter, I agree. Turtwig is my number one. Totodile is my number two. Yeah, in this game, you evolve post-post game. That's right. Dude, I love Sharpedo Bluff. Sunbro12, thank you for following. I hope you enjoy this stream and any future ones you come to. Mini dots. Yeah. Oh, this game is so good. I love it. Where? Where am I? I'm right there. I can't. Drifting off. I have become a small crocodile creature. All right, good night. Huh. No, not a six-hour stream. No, I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected. Yo, I totally forgot. I love the foot mini game in this game. It's so much fun. Who's footprint? Who's footprint? I can say footprint. I wish evolution came sooner in Explorers. Yeah, I agree. It would be better. I don't think it, like, ruins the game or anything, but I would prefer if I could evolve, like, before I've done almost everything in the game. The footprint is Turtwigs. The footprint is Turtwigs. Mwah! Does Turtwig get Earthquake or Fissure? I don't think Turtwig learns any ground-type moves. He has to become Torterra to learn ground-type moves. That was too shocking, even though you knew it was going to happen. I can't. I can't work up the courage to go in, after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... Oh yeah, this definitely has no plot importance at any point in the world. I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Ah, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Turtwig is so adorable. What is that tent? That is the guild. We'll learn more about it as we get into the game. Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, Coffin. That little wimp that was pacing around. Had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. <laughs> I 
Can I get uh, Mystery Dungeon on the Switch, please? I agree wholeheartedly. Forget Let's Go. Just give me Mystery Dungeon. That's all I want. It looks like treasure, but it's just a rock. It's a fancy rock. Oh, wow. What a pretty sight. Where's Ekans? Ekans got booted for Zubat. Let's go, Mystery Dungeon. When the weather's good, the Krabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off of the waves. It's always beautiful. It is, Turtwig. It is. Cult of the Magic Rock. Oh, no. I've only been streaming for 20 minutes, and chat has already made a new cult. This is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'll lose it when they announce Mystery Dungeon and Mario Galaxy 3 for the Switch. Yo, I would love a Mario Galaxy 3. I'd also love another Mystery Dungeon, but I want it to, like, be good, because the two 3DS ones weren't that great. But it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. You know what? It cheers me up, too, Turtwig. I agree. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? I'm just a small crocodile. Don't mind me. Someone has collapsed on the sand. What happened? Are you okay? Hey, what's up? I will bite you. You're awake. That's a relief. Where? Where am I? You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Turtwig. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around before. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I played trades with him. What? What? You say you're a human? You look like a totally normal totodile to me. Where is Let's Go Turtwig, if only? Yo, they better not. I want Sinnoh remakes after Gen 8 games come out. But I want, like, actual Sinnoh remakes. They better not just make a Let's Go Sinnoh. I'll be mad. It's... It's true. I've turned into a totodile. But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? No, no, no. You're telling me the truth. All right, then. Your name? What's your name? All right, I'm glad that you just believed me. My name. That's right. My name is... All right, I should not be named Totodile because I used to be a human. I should have an actual name. Question is, is do I go with my usual, like, actual human name in Solo, or do I just say Chaos? I think I'm going to go with Solo. Boom. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, the 3DS uh, Mystery Dungeon games just weren't very good. It was especially hard coming off of... Uh, Gates to Infinity, especially coming off of, uh, was it Gates to Infinity and then Super, I think? But coming off of Explorers of Sky was already going to be hard, but they just did even worse. Oh, Solo is your name? Indeed it is. Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. You've known me for all of, like, 27 seconds. What? <laughs> How can you make this decision? Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Oh, hey, speaking of. Yep, there it is. Immediately gets mugged. Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? Ha ha ha, I can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo, we'll take that. Well, now it's theirs. Ah! Whoa! Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. Why did these... See you around, chicken. Heh heh heh. Why did these idiots go into the cave that is a dead end instead of going back the way they came? Hadoken, how's it going, man? Glad to see you. Chaos is Ben 10, the Totodile? What? <laughs> I'm super confused. Explorers kind of spoils you with a lot of post-game, too. Yeah, the Explorers games, as long as you enjoy the gameplay, like... Mystery Dungeon gives a lot of post-game in this game and in Red and Blue, the original ones. 
Oh. What should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No, there's no time to waste. I've got to get it back. Hey, can I get you to help me? Nah. What? You won't help me? That thing really means everything to me. If I can't get it back... I'm serious. Please, please help me get that treasure of mine back. Alright, fine. You've twisted my arm. R really? You'll really help? Thank you. Let's go quickly. Alright, fine. We'll go get the magic rock so my chat can continue to worship it for whatever reason. Head for the- Why did I have to spawn next to two Corsola? <laughs> this is terrible. Head for the stairway. As you go, you can attack enemies by pressing A. Enemies won't move or act until you do. Alright, good. Okay. Let's, uh... Do, 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 do. I gotta remember how to play. It's been a minute. How do I... There we go. Alright, when you set a move, it's L-A, right? Yeah! Oh, wow. You died to that. Uh, I missed! How dare you? Have you literally got, like, 11 HP? Scum. Alright. Let's gonna move on, then. We got work to do, boyos. Free experience, exactly. Help him, then steal it? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can carry an item. I understand. I know how to play this video game. I've only played it, like, you know, nine or ten times. You got 12 HP, huh? Must be nice. Hey. We're getting really lucky with the stair spawns. We're going to be out of, like, the tutorial area really fast. I feel like I should use a controller for this game and not my keyboard. Yes, you should. I definitely would. In some areas, you will see... Yeah, 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 yeah. The stat fix things. Whatever. Survivor seed? Sleep seed. Also good. Uh, I'd rather have this than the Orin Berry. I'll have you pick up the Orin. Oh, why'd you, what are you holding? What do you have? You gotta be holding something, right? If you're not gonna pick that up. Where do I see where you're holding something? No, you don't have an item. Turtwing, you idiot. Pick up that Orin Berry. That's a useful item. Hey, Kabuto. Die, Kabuto. How dare you not die? I don't care if you're... Whoa, you got a lot of HP. There we go. Easy EXP. Don't mind if I do. Is Kamashita in this? Thankfully not. Get out of here. Oh no. Mud sport. Whatever will I do now? There used to be a Shellos there. Partner can't pick up items until you form the team? I did not know that. I've played this game so many times and I never knew that. You know what? Actually, Blast Seed is going to be even more useful because it's just going to let us get through the fight a lot faster. So I'm going to take that over the Sleep Seed. That is a dead end and a half right there. Do you mind? Blocking the path? How rude. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Hey. What's up here? Ah, eh, whatever. It's not going to be better than a Blast Seed. Boss fight time. Let's go. Uh, hey. Yo, what's up? Turns out you guys are idiots and didn't just, like, double back to the city like you should have. Well, well. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Man, that would be great if my partner was a Torchic. Yeah. Give me. Give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It's literally a rock with some writing on it. Like, come on, man. It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. I'll give you a blast seed for it. All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> These guys don't even deserve the cool boss transition animation thing. Uh, Let's get Zubat out of here first. Eat it. This is how this works, right? Do I remember how to use a Blast Seed? Yeah, I do. Boom, it's dead! Don't withdraw. I didn't turn off your moves. Hold up. Turtwig, moves. Turn off withdraw. Ariel. There's like no reason to be using withdraw. Just help me kill this coughing. Oh yeah, that was easy. What a bunch of jokes. We got roughed up. Yeah, it's almost like you suck. Blast it! How do we get wiped out by wimps like them? I had a blast seed, to be fair. Here you go. Take it, then. Whoa! Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. 
Yeah, you just remember that. It must suck being a coughing in this world. How do you pick up anything? You have no arms. Nothing even close. Zubat has wings, which is also difficult, but at least he can use his wings for things. Coughing is just screwed. Ah, oh, it's my relic fragment. Am I ever glad. I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Solo. Thank you, Solo. You're welcome. I will bill you my fee for my services. Thank you, seriously. I only helped because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least, that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Eh, it depends. It varies. Get coughing and Zubat can steal the magic rock with the distinct lack of arms. It, is his, it has been saved, the magic rock. We've got it. We got it back. Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Indeed. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. And new lands just waiting to be discovered. Another Pokemon game. How are you liking Let's Go Eevee? Ah. I don't, like, outright hate it, but I'm still not a big fan. Such places must be full of unimaginable golden treasure. Throw it. Pick up the magic rock and just throw it into the ocean. Eat the magic rock. St stab Turtwig and take the magic rock. You guys really want this rock. And history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got some graffiti on it. It's not bad. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. How would you know? You don't remember anything. There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. Definitely not a plot device. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But I chickened out. What about you, Solo? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? Literally nowhere. If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Solo. So will you? I mean, yeah, I've known you for like a solid, what, 15 minutes now? That's good enough. We can be friends forever at this point. So will you, please? Whoa, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon to form an exploration team? I'm in. It's true. I do have nowhere to go. I forgot to get a Gatorade before I started recording. I am very displeased because I want a drink right now. Is this your new emote? Yeah, that is Detective Pete. Here, I'll, I'll show you all three of them because I can use all three. Boom. There's all three of my emotes. Anyone who subs at tier one gets the Detective Pete one, the Wanyamon. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Turtwig for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yes, really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you. We're going to be a great combination. Let's make this work. Of course we are. I picked our type specifically for that. First, we should go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train to become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. But let's give it our best, Solo. We in this. Let's go. We already know how to make our poses. RTK, what's happening, man? And so, Turtwig and Solo formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. I totally forgot they did this intro thing. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Yeah, exactly, Shadow. Pokemon are too trusting. Anyone in the human world would send you to an asylum for saying you're a Pokemon, basically. Save it up.
We've done it. Chapter 2, the new guild recruits. How many chapters are in this game? Like 15, 16? I can't remember. Some of them are definitely longer than others, I know that. This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No. I've got Solo with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? I'm not saying it twice. The footprint is Turtwig's. Ah! No. I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. I'm on it. They probably meant you, Solo. No, they definitely meant that, like, totem pole of the Anorith and the Hoot Hoot over there. They said to stand up here. Yeah, look at that. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet or something. I'm sure there are some Pokemon that'll fall through that hole. Definitely looks like a Spoink could just slip right through. Hey, you, stranger. Get on the grate. Absorb them with the magic stone. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? I wonder whose. The footprint is? The footprint is, uh... Huh. <laughs> What's the matter? Sentry. Sentry? What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Uh... <laughs> the footprint is maybe totodiles. What? Maybe. But but it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ah, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. I mean, he's got you on that one. Finally got my new glasses. Congratulations, Tails. I'm glad you did. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Totodile in these parts. But you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. We in. Yikes. I'm so nervous. So jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. How old is this game? When did Explorers of Sky come out? 2007? 2008? It's been around a decade. I can't remember. When did Diamond and Pearl come out? Diamond and Pearl come out in 2006? Or 2007? This would have come out like a year after, probably. Or maybe two years after. I'm not sure. Today is like the, fifth, uh, the 13 year anniversary of the original Mystery Dungeon games, so those came out in like 2005. It's hard to remember. I know it was before 2010, I think. Pretty sure. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. You can tell if a Pokemon is bad from its footprints? Yeah, exactly. It's the most standard way in the Pokemon universe of knowing if you're a bad person or some something. Oh, nine? 09, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Could have been 09. It would have been somewhere in like the 2007 to 2009 range, I think. There's a hatch that leads underground here. Hey. Wow. I am so pumped to just take like a bunch of quests and go through them. This is one of my favorite things about Mystery Dungeons, just taking a bunch of random quests and going through them. If it has no footprint, it's good. Yeah, how do you decide if coughing is bad or not? So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon. I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me. Ah, there's Chaytot. It was you two that just came in, right? Yes. I'm Chaytot. Or Chatot. How do you pronounce this? It's Chatot, isn't it? The 18th of April, 2009. So it was 2009. A little bit later than I thought, but yeah, it sounds right. So almost a decade. It'll be a decade this coming April. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. Chatot. Chatot. I always want to say Chatot for some reason. Chatot. I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right-hand Pokemon. Now, shoo! Leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. N no that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. Trash-tot. 
I know I want to say everything incorrectly, Michael. You don't gotta, don't gotta remind me. What? What? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to appr apprentice at the guild, especially given how hard our training is. How do you know how old I am? It's almost 10 years. Gonna celebrate its birthday with my 15th 100% of, ex of Explorers of Sky? Dude, good plan. I like it. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. I like how he says this, but I can't think of any time that the training in this game is hard. Excuse me, is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, 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 no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. Haha. <laughs> Oh, Chatot. Chatot. Chatot? I've already forgotten how you're supposed to say it. Chatter. Chatot. Chatot. Yeah. Chatot needs to be enlightened by the magic rock. Maybe it'll give him a better personality. Now we're talking. His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's go get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. 